Hello, everybody. Welcome to this read for the uh, uh, eclipse. <laughs> I was going to say accumulation of the eclipse. I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean anything, does it? Anyway, the final stage of this eclipse is happening today. We're having a solar eclipse, um, an annular eclipse, which means we get that wherever you can see it in the world. I didn't even look it up um, where we get the ring of fire. So um, yeah, the ring of fire, kind of a, a fiery little ending. Uh, I don't know about you, but <laughs> as as always, the, the equinox was a nice break, just like I thought it was going to be. Uh, and then all hell broke loose. <laughs> Like for me anyway, just is like you, it just, and it's funny because it's like eclipses always affect me like this. So I knew it was coming, um, but it was funny because I was reading something and it was like, cue the irritability. And like, that was me yesterday. Like the lead up to this was just like, I was like, I haven't been so cranky in my life. I don't think, honestly, I was cranky with everybody in my household and they all noticed it <laughs> and I also because I was so stuck in it I um I, I manifested some bad shit so it wasn't terrible but you know my poor little dog hurt himself and I fundamentally knew the minute it happened it was like hey you're being an a-hole <laughs> like knock it off lady and I was like oh okay yep okay I'm bringing in this energy and I could feel it I knew I was doing it uh but I was powerless to stop it which is yeah, right. We know I was not powerless to stop it. And so it took me the better part of last night to uh, gather my senses again and get a good night's sleep and then wake up this morning with a little better head on my shoulders. So I hope if you're going through some of the similar stuff that it's not too rough on you um, and that, you know, we're here to do these readings and get through this together. So um, yeah, I'm actually kind of grateful for today just because I feel like this is like the, you know, one door closing, new door opening. Um, it's interesting because I was kind of like, there's been two songs that have been like in my mind to discuss and like have as the, not the title song of this video. If you, if you follow on Instagram and then you, um, I always attach a song to the announcement of the read, but anyway, I've had two songs in my head, so usually, you know, they're usually pretty good, um, pretty good uh, symbols and signs from the universe. So the first one is A Place Called Earth, um, and I think that's what we're going to use for this video. This is the weird thing, is I was just going to do this moon read like I usually do. Um, it's already midweek when I'm putting this out. So I wasn't, I was just going to make this the energy read, but it's just really coming through strongly to do two reads. So I'm going to do this one. And, and it's weird because I don't want to call this the dark one. Um, and the other one, the light one, but the light one is associated with a song called stay alive, but it's about open your eyes and the truth and the new day dawning. So it's kind of like, this eclipse, right? It's like, we're going to cover the, the, the dark part right now, which is not really the dark part. Um, the song that was going along with this, A Place Called Earth is about, it's basically about longing for heaven upon earth, right? So for me, what it's saying is we need to be focusing this time uh, on, on manifesting that. Um, at all costs, like the other thing yesterday was, it was all about me, 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 me. And halfway through that day, I, but it, the problem was, is it wasn't just about me. It was about me looking at the world and going, and it's funny cause this was in the thing too, irritability, dissatisfaction and questioning. Is this it? Is this all, is this all it is? Cause if this is all it is, what are we doing? What are we even doing? Um, and then I watched a couple things subsequently, and it reminded me of the mission. So this video is kind of like a little bit all over the place, but it's about manifestation, this moon, I want to say, and this eclipse, um, and us closing the door on the old 
opening it to the new. The epiphany I had was just that it's like, it seems a monumental task, but we have to let go of that old, complete old way before we see any of the new. And I know that's like, that's stepping out onto the edge of darkness and, and just, and just being okay with it, even though you have no idea what's coming. Um, but having the sense to be standing on that edge and still manifesting and desiring something good to come, right? And the other thing I fundamentally remembered yesterday too is everything that's going on in all facets of this world right now, as the 3D is crumbling away, is the bottom line is we are doing this for one reason only, right? What what even generations before us have done this for one reason only, and that was always for the children. So this is for the children. This is for the future of humanity, the future of our children. Um, not good things have been done to children in the last amount of time, and that's being unearthed and uncovered. And um, whether you subscribe to that or not, the the bottom line is, like, why do we live this life? We try to make it better and we live it for um, the future generations. And we want to leave them a place where they can succeed and thrive and live and be at ease and grace and peace. We're not doing a bang up job of it right now. It's like we are doing a bang up job of it right now. But it's all working itself out. It's just that it's really tumultuous right now. It really is. And that it's, it's not an easy task, this. So just keep the line, hold the line, hold the space, manifest, 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 um, and bring in the new. Um, so, you know, like, this is the thing. Okay. So let's, I was looking and like, normally it's like, you could read what a Libra new moon means. Generally, that's it has more to do with like romance and love. Um, but I don't, you know, obviously that's, I mean, it is. Let's bring in more love for one another and the planet. Um, but this one is because the eclipse is there and there's, there's also uh, the nodes are in. Anyway, I'm not an astrologer and I've read some of this stuff, but it's just like there's a lot going on astrologically. So it is this kind of like, there's all kinds of aspects of things happening. Um, anyway, the general consensus though is here. So it's a Libra new moon during an eclipse. Um, the last time that we had that was 2023. So not that long ago, but we will not see the, a Libra new moon eclipse until 2033 again. So it is a big monumentous thing happening big energy, basically. Um, solar eclipses are opening pathways, new beginnings. Um, because this is the last of the eclipses for this year, it's we reap the rewards of the last six months. So since the last eclipse, everything you've been working on, manifesting, wishing for, that comes to, into being. It's the harvest, right? Um, but it's also like we're in fall here in in the uh, northern hemisphere, and so we would do things now like continuing to plant, right? So this is when you put your bulbs in for tulips and crocuses, irises, those kind of things. So we're still we're not we're not just harvesting and settling in. We're still continuing to manifest and um, and put seeds for the future, right? Um, a lot of heart openings, and this is the completing of this karmic reset. We're in the karmic reset. Um, this should be our time today to clear the last old patterns, toxic thinking, toxic relationships. Um, and for me, that's interesting because like, I think there is an aspect of the relationship here, but I think this is like the global relationship, all the people on this planet we're coming to this like breakup point where it's not even a breakup point. It's just like a, okay, let's align with the people that are good for us. 
leaving behind the people that are toxic to us, um, situations, all of the things. Um, and in our world, that's getting rid of half of the entertainment or all of the entertainment industry, maybe two thirds. Uh, I, I'll be shocked. I, I'm curious to know how many good people there actually are, and I can't wait to find out. Um, yeah, it's being cleansed. You can see it. The house of cards of entertainment is like, phew, that propaganda machine is being like just fully exposed for what it is. And, 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 and thank God, like it's time that stuff can continue no more. That, that energy cannot come with us. Like it is so dark and so evil that it has to be, well, vanquished, to be honest. Anyway, that's a whole other video, but I think that's why there's a dark and a light video coming up. So I know I just, I just do what I'm told, right? Like my guys are saying the moon, this moon one's going to be a little, uh, mucky in like how we're like, what we're hearing and what we're, what we're seeing as it's dissolved and um but it's the universe is wiping the energy clean so that we can have a fresh start so anything that's not resonating right at this at the, the new frequency is being cleansed and cleared so like you can look at this from a 3d perspective of everything that's happening um or we can also kind of pop in and look at it from a 5d perspective of it's cleansing it's clearing that's what needs to happen so um it's also giving us on an individual level we're able to break free from those things that are holding us back but again that's not just about an individual level it's about this our societal level it's like we have been sort of contained controlled all of that and that's no you know that's no more right well we're just cleaning it up right now so it's all about energy this moon and this eclipse is cleaning up and clearing and um i don't even know the word cancel clear delete comes to mind right like cancel that way of doing things delete that way of doing things um, and clear and cleanse the energy. So it's basically the bottom line is we all came here to transmute this. So, um, the key and the reason I picked this song, uh, a place called earth is because it's, oh, how I long for a place called, uh, for heaven on a place called earth. So this is, that line is the, is the key piece of like, we have to be working on how do we manifest heaven on earth? Right now, that's the other thing. And we've talked about this many times before. What can we do? What, we came here. We came here to keep our energy in resonance and frequency and be a part of this shift. But in our day-to-day -day life, it's like there's this, like everything we're seeing you know, compels us inside. It's like, I need to be doing something. I have to help with this. You are helping in two ways. And one that you may not even know is that you're holding this frequency and helping usher in this new frequency by doing your own work and doing and clearing and canceling and deleting all the things that are not working for you and your um, energy field. But we're also at the same time we're, like we as light workers or whichever you want to call yourself we're trying to like we're trying to bring in this new energy the only way we know how to do that is to manifest so the 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 best way right now and this is what i think the 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 overall message is is keep manifesting and how we do that is by prayer is by meditation is by like being in the energy and holding the, the the frequency and space and being the container for that energy as it increases and, you know, not getting sucked into the low energy and, and not, I don't want to say not participating in it, but just like, 
I think the key and a really good friend reminded me of this last night is, is like, we just have to keep going in those moments of uh, right back into meditation and just, just remove ourselves from that low space and increase our frequency. Um, but the most important part I feel about like meditation and prayer right now is that we're, we're seeing, we're manifesting as we're doing this. We're seeing the world healed, whole, complete. Um, we're seeing the children healed, whole, complete. We're seeing ourselves healed, whole, complete. We just, it's like, that is our job right now. Just keep doing that. Every spare minute you have, for whatever reason, the last few days, I haven't had any work. Like nobody's booking in. That's frightening for me in the 3D because I have to pay bills still. <laughs> but, but then, at, and the other part of me that's not freaking out is going, Kim, space is being cleared because you have a job to do right now. You, you came to hold this space and this energy. So, you know, instead of sitting there doom scrolling, which I did yesterday because I was just in a mood and it wasn't, nothing was changing that mood. <laughs> I tried a couple times. It, it just, anyway, that's a whole other story. You're still human. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're still going to doom scroll sometime. <laughs> I've pulled myself out of it now. And I've been doing lots of meditation today um, and just really changing the energy. All right. Anyway, the key that I'm saying is we came here to manifest heaven on earth. Um, so at this time, with this moon, with this eclipse, let's really do our work. Let's get into this fully. Um, let's do this, you guys. That's what we came here to do. It's 1717, right as I say this. Should be 5-5. Five, five. It's clear. Let's go. Anyway, okay. The core thing I found about this moon, though, is, is being completely aware of where you're directing your energy. Always, right? Like, again, are we just doom scrolling and creating this little bubble of fear and loathing, <laughs> right? Or are we directing our energy inward, upward, and manifesting more of that? So that for me is the key of this moon. But now I'm going to read the cards and see if it agrees with me. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's, we're going to do the moon read like we normally do a read for the moon. And like I said, I don't know why it's kind of like the key isn't so much that this is the dark read. <laughs> the key is that, yeah, it's, we're going from dark to light, even though I know in the Northern hemisphere, it's our, we're getting darker. <laughs> but, um, anyway, the, the next video will be about the new dawn, the dawning of the next day. So today for this moon though, let's really like sink into and the dark isn't, a, this is the thing, is like the dark is only as scary as we make it, right? Right? Again, fear. How much fear are we going to put into this? It's not meant to be scary to do the dark shadow work and that kind of thing. It's just, it's more just like, basically, it's like you're going into a dark cave, but you've got a flashlight and you're shining and you're emanating this light. So you're just, we're shining the light on stuff so that we can cleanse and clear and move forward. Anyway, okay. So uh, let's do, I'm going to do one of the Nature Rhythm Oracle for the overall. And then, oops, what did I do two? I don't know. I was going to try to keep both these videos short, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen because there's just so much going on. <laughs> okay, we did get two cards. Water, interesting. Number 25, we'll read these in a second. And alchemy, okay. Uh, 33, okay. 25 and 33. So again, what is this overall eclipse Libra new moon about? And what should we be, what should we be doing? Water heals my wounds. The water of my body 
The waters of my body are clean and pure. The healing power of water has no end and no beginning. We and Mother Earth are substantially water. Water has a consciousness and can be uh, altered by directed intention. Oh yeah, intention came up a lot. Intentions are manifesting. So again, keep visualizing heaven on earth. What does that look like? See everybody healthy, whole, healed. Every, everything, not just people, right? Not just the children, not just us, not just, but the trees, the water, the forest, the the element of water calls you now. Draw upon the healing power of water to cleanse your physical and energetic body. Infuse your water with nurturing vibrations. That's probably really key. Draw a hot, salted bath and replenish your body. Drink mineralized water and be thankful for your relationship with this powerful element. That's interesting. Uh, is Libra water? Shoot, I can't remember. <laughs> that's terrible I gotta look that up this video is gonna be long oh well hope you're in for it <laughs> oh, if you're like me you have nothing else to do right now so um, uh, water or something no Pisces cancer reveal hmm anyway okay but water water is like healing anyway right so have that new moon bath tonight during this eclipse. Um, can't hurt, right? All right, what else are we supposed to be doing? Alchemy. Hmm, interesting. That also, sometimes you need water to make that happen. Um, I'm authentic in what I create. I create extraordinary things out of ordinary material. Alchemy can be observed daily. Your very heart is a portal where an alchemical process takes place. Rest. With your heart and ask it how do you feel allow that feeling to spiral counterclockwise through the central column of your body to the center of mother earth come back up to your heart and initiate a spiral clockwards through the crown of your head and to the center of the universe yeah again um that card for me is is like completely saying everything that is happening right now is about our, it's not about uh, our money. It's not about the, what's happening in the world. Um, what's n even necessarily what's happening to us. This is about asking us the importance of this eclipse and is, is that we're meditating, but that we're connecting with our divine energy, that we're grounded and connected to Mother Earth and that we're like connecting directly into source. So however that works for you whether you need to find a guided meditation to do that or you can do that just spiral down from the heart and then back up and connect so that in that meditation you are completely connected to earth and sky that's pretty much what it sounds like we need to do so um there was something that just came up when i was thinking about that mm, i don't see it now um Anyway, okay, we might come back. Okay, I'm also going to do three portal cards because this, this moon reading, we'll get to that in a second, is about, like, highly about, oops, is highly about what is this portal of this eclipse about. Oh, yeah, and that was, yeah, heart openings. So there's a lot of <clears throat> heart openings in the sky because we just drew that card. So. Okay. This portal is about, makes sense, okay. Higher heart activations, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Did that just like glitch out? <laughs> it does. I thought, I didn't, anyway, we'll have to rewatch this and see. Okay, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Brilliant, that's right where we need to be. Hearts are opening during this portal. Third eye activation, brow chakra, inner wisdom, clear seeing. Continuing on with the theme that we've been talking about for weeks is that we're just more and more uh, coming online, being into it, getting intuitive. Uh, we're already being intuitive. Um, 
and it's just amping up, amping up. So, and then soul star activation. That's that. Oh, isn't that funny? Wait a second here. Heart, third eye, and crown. So when you're doing those meditations too, definitely still remain connected and grounded to Mother Earth and nature. But this is all, this portal is all about heart, third eye, and connecting to the divine. Remembering who you are. Soul star activation. Our soul star is above our crown chakra and it connects us even more directly with source. Fulfilling our soul contract. It's like this is this portal is to remind us why we came. And that's now it's no coincidence why this video video so old so old. Um but why this this reading is is governed by that song because we came here to raise this frequency um, and it's just time for us to remember that that's our, that's us. That's what we need to be doing right now. Um, everything else isn't important. And I, you know, I know like when you're in stuff in your life and like, I, I'm with you, like, I, you know, I'm delinquent on bills right now. <laughs> like, I, I, There's nothing I can do to change that. I've tried everything in my power to change that. It's not happening right now. Um, but I also feel like there's this thing going on where the universe is stripping some things away from us to be like, that isn't important. You need to stop focusing on it. Our focus needs to be purely on this shift, which is 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 happening right before our very eyes. So it's important that we're tuning in and tuning out the things that aren't important. I know. That's why I, I think I had such an absolute crappy day yesterday. Cause it's in that, like, again, it's, we're standing on this edge of darkness and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know where this goes. It's, it is a leap of faith in, you know, and, and, you know, you're going to get caught. The net's going to appear, right? The, the light is going to come. The new day is on its way which is why I'm going to do this other video next. But it's just, it's it's hard standing on that edge right now because we're just not quite ready to do the leap yet. But yeah, I'm with you guys. <laughs> I'm like right there with you. All right, let's do the moon reading like we always do. And then... Interesting. Okay. Expect powerful change. You can't make this stuff up because this is the new moon eclipse card. Anyway, expect powerful change. Yeah, this is the dark. This is the dark. Look at us sitting here. I will follow you into the dark right now. We don't know what's going to happen right? Wow. Expect powerful change. It also reminds me of that, um, of like just ex part of the manifestation, expect a miracle, right? This is why, this is why it's all coming down to energy and mindset is we have to be expecting the best. We have to be desiring and expecting to bring heaven to earth at all. That is our only goal. That is our only mission at this time. Um, we also got nothing set in stone, a mutable moon. Again, this is the manifestation card. It's like, if if we go turn on the news right now and we see everything that's happening, it's like, it, you, you're, our normal sort of like go-to is like, we're, di we're done. <laughs> like, whoops, like we didn't make it. Nothing is set in stone. These timelines are shifting all the time. We are not like, it's not set in stone, but there is a definite like positive ending. Remember the light always wins. So none of these plans that are currently in place are going to, uh, are going to manifest. So we can change this at any time. 
we change this by manifesting differently, right? And funny, we also, we got a Libra card, but this is the full moon Libra card. A win-win outcome is forecast. So it's just like, again, the new dawn is coming. Heaven on earth is coming. Um, no matter how dark it gets, and it's going to get dark, and it's going to get gruesome, keep your thoughts on the on the victory win of the light and manifesting heaven on earth that that's all we have to do right now like i can't stress that enough all right I'm gonna... it's crazy but yeah <laughs> i can't believe we got the eclipse the new moon eclipse card that's so awesome so perfect it is what's happening Okay. Okay. Now, remember I was saying there's like this element of darkness. And so these cards are, you. I usually use them when we're talking about darkness, just because they, they actually address it in the cards. They don't, you know, there's two sides to it, right? So the hungry ghost is up first. Obsessions, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. So, again, this is exactly what's happening right now, is that there's still a lot of us, and even myself, that is like, we're still attached to this, this 3D lower energy. We're doing our best to kind of try to, you know, get its talons removed from us. But it's like it's still got a bit of a hold on us and it's tricky. So um again, do your best to stay out of scarcity consciousness. And scarcity consciousness isn't just a monetary thing, right? Like, or you know, or needs being met. Um, but that is exactly what is being thrown at us right now. Because that's the biggest way to get us and throw fear into us is uh you have nothing. And you'll be happy. <laughs> No, thanks. Um, again, cancel, clear, delete, cancel, clear, delete. That's not happening. That's not my timeline. That's not what's going on. And again, the manifestation comes up because it, we've got to be sitting in meditation and prayer and, and visualizing where we're headed, not getting wrapped up, um, in this and being attached to the old way. Right. It's tough though, too, because all that stuff is crumbling. So it's, it would be like if you were, I mean, it's two things. It's like if you're in a building and it's falling down, do you like, is it safe to stay in that building? Why would you stay in that building? We should get out and we should go and find, seek shelter and safety. It is out there. Um, anyway, and it's also that it's the Hopi Indian prophecy, right? Is that when this great surge happens this flood this water whatever um there's you know there's people that were, are going to like cling on to the edge because they're so attached and they know they're so afraid of the unknown that they end up drowning themselves right and then what the trick is is for us to just have faith take the leap of faith let go and flow with the water it will keep us buoyant. It will keep us up. And it's what takes us where we're desiring to go, right? The turning of the age. I know that's, it's really tricky because <laughs> we also got the shadow queen. Uh, acquiring knowledge. We'll leave that for one second. Insecurity and manipulation. Those are the lower aspects that are really getting us right now. Um, so here's how the remedy, though, is the first word, acquiring knowledge. Acquiring knowledge. How do we do that? Usually we research, we read a book. This is, this is the truth coming out. So how we transmute this is we, this truth has to come out. There's no other way. There's no other way. So we have to just, um, 
We just have to carry on. We've got this. It's interesting because now thinking about the there's a, the lyric in the song that I have for the sum up of this video, which I'm going to do next. Still don't understand this two thing. Anyway, um, what am I trying to say? Anyway, the lyric is a new day is dawning. Open your eyes. And there's a line just before it about the truth. I'll, I'll read it in the next video, but the truth always had to come out. It's the only way we're going to transmute this. So it's just as rough as everything is, just keep, keep holding on and doing what we came to do. Prayer, manifestation, energy work. Like this is why we came. This is why our gifts have been turning on, why we've been, been more intuitive and those sorts of things is to help guide us to keep this frequency energy as high as possible. We also got the spirit whisperer, divine guidance and higher knowing. Man, I mean, I love that card. There's just, there's just, it's just like, it's okay, you guys. We're divinely guided and we just have to keep remembering that. And I know, again, sometimes when all that muck and mire is around us, this darkness, we forget that we're the ones that came here to shine the light on everything. So keep shining that little light, everybody. <laughs> All right. Don't want to make this too, too long, especially if I'm doing two videos. Okay. What? These are always advice cards. These next then. Okay. okay. This is the thing I've been struggling with. Leave the past behind. Like, okay, the easiest way to leave the past behind is because at this point in the game, it's a, it's not a game. I I understand that, but I'm going to use that as my terminology. There's the time for this shift is now. It's happening. Um, there's not enough time to go back and fix everything from the past. Uh, and nor does it necessarily need to be. It's literally a walking away. We we no longer feed the energy of the three third dimensional matrix. Um, it's a complete like. Don't even be like, well, oh, maybe come back and do a little bit of this work. Like I didn't really get to that, so it's like too bad. It's like literally like. Um, it's like the, 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 <laughs> I don't even know how to say this without saying it wrong. So I just, I'm trying to figure it out. It's like, okay. It's like the building again, the building's falling down. Don't stay in the building. Just literally leave everything. Don't take stuff with you. It's too late. If you don't have a bug out bag, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Walk away. We literally have to walk away. This is the thing I've been struggling with. How do we just walk away from the third dimension and just leave it to crumble? Because that's what's happening. If you want to stay in the building and it crumbles on top of you, there is nothing anybody else can do. This is purely your decision. You need to make this decision. This is like, this is like an emergency situation. This is the decision that needs to be made right now. Walk away. Just walk away. We just walk away and leave it behind. It's too late. It cannot be saved. It cannot be salvaged. It is needing to crumble and fall. Stop hanging on to it. Stop hanging on to it. All these people we idolized. Why did we idolize them? <laughs> There's going to be massive heartbreak for a lot of people in this world about what these people have done. The best thing to do is just. Honestly, I hate to say it. We just got to walk away. Well, as it's happening, though, make sure you're working through your feelings. And then the big thing is keep an open heart. The only way, look at this. Like, It's like, I feel like work through your feelings. In one hand, it's like releasing right? Releasing everything. This card, keeping your heart open, inviting the new light in. We have to release to, to bring in, right? 
I know. All right, this is just how I feel. <laughs> All right, let's do three more advice cards. Well, what's going on? We can do this, you guys. I know. And yeah, work through those feelings. I had to work through that yesterday. Uh, okay, interesting. Again, there's a thing about the feelings here. Process your feelings. So, I mean, yeah, I just went on this like rant about walking away. But, you know, I think it's, it. you know, we can't fix what's happened. You can't go back unless you're a time traveler and change things. Um, nor do I think that's what we should do. Um, we should learn from this. We should process our feelings around it because believe me, it, like some of the stuff is going to make you so angry. You're going to just want to spit. <laughs> and then like, and some of it's going to make you so sad. So sad. The things that have been done, like they are not even like heartbreaking isn't even the word. It's like devastating that humanity could have got to that point. It did. But again, right now, this bit of doing, I'm processing this feeling. And I'll let it go through. And then I pick myself back up. Resiliency. Pull your boots back up. Keep marching on. Don't go back to the past and dwell over it. Because, yeah, it's going to be, we could lament forever. How did we get here? Why did this happen? It's like, it doesn't do any good. It doesn't move us forward. So. Feel your feelings, march forward. The funny part is, the next card we got is do nothing. <laughs> but here's, here's the nothing. What's this person doing? They're meditating. They're meditating and under a, a, you know, a fairly new, close to new moon. The light in the distance that's, this is all we can do at this point is like, we can't, the do nothing part is like, don't get over involved in the 3D and stay there. Process the feelings, meditate, envision the future, work it out, move forward, move forward, keep moving forward, keep manifesting. Don't go back to the past and lament it, revisit it, relive it, just learn the truth. Process the thing around it. Move on. This is what we're doing. This we need to be in constant motion right now. The last card we got is take a risk. Brilliant. This is the take a leap. We're all like we're gonna go to this next video now, and I feel like it's gonna be very different. But it's about the light dawning, the new day dawning. It's time for us to take that risk and jump from the darkness into the light and have no idea what's or expectations or understanding of what's going to happen to us. We just have to take a risk and trust the universe and trust God with all of our hearts that everything is going to be fine, that the light is the victory in victory. And I know that's like super scary, but we just, we it's, it's just what's required of us at this eclipse right it's time for us to to move on to the new all right i just want to do a couple of these cards and then we'll move on to the next video okay first up whatever i choose to believe becomes true to me Again, this is the manifestation card. <laughs> I trust the timing of my life. My future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. Guys, it, like it's just like the manifestation stick is just like hitting us over the head. Okay, I'm going to leave this video here. And then we're going to go ahead and look at... Um, the new day dawning next and see what more advice it has for us. So there is a part two if you'd like to continue.